while that I realised I'm a bit delayed on back to school video <laughs> and I'm really sorry. Um, it's currently the 7th of September when I'm filming this and my brother and sisters have gone back to school today and I'm still home because I don't start uni until like the end of this month I think maybe, I don't even know. <laughs> So yeah, and I realised I didn't do any back to school videos, I haven't been on the whole back to school bandwagon, is that the name? Is that the word? Yeah. But, I thought that you don't necessarily have to have back to school videos just at the beginning of the school year, you can keep having them throughout because this is one thing that I know most people would change up throughout the year anyway. Makeup. So, I thought I'd do my everyday makeup, which is also kind of what I'm going to hope to wear to uni. So yeah. Um, as you guys know, oh, actually I don't know, I say as you guys know all the time but I never know if you guys know. Um, I don't actually wear makeup on an everyday basis anymore, um, simply because I'm just lazy and I don't have time and sometimes I just don't want to. And so yeah, but um, the days when I feel like my skin looks kind of tired or I'm having like this, breakouts and stuff, like um, you probably can't see that clearly today because I'm sitting by the window and like light's coming in, it's making me look very like pale and stuff and you can't really see it but it's cool um, but those days then I will put makeup on and this is the kind of routine I'll follow pretty much and I thought I would show you how much it, how long it takes from start to finish obviously there'll be editing in between but you'll see the actual time on my phone because I'm gonna set like a timer and yeah um, just because it'll be cool to show you but bear in mind that obviously it takes time and effort and practice to learn things with all things it is so with makeup as well and I've been doing this routine for a good with different variations, I've been doing it for a good year, I think. Um, so, I can do it in about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on if I'm multitasking and stuff. Like, today I'm going to be multitasking because I'm talking to you guys today. So, yeah. Um, but other than that, I think that's all i got to say. So, I'm going to get into it. But first, we're going to set my timer. So, we're just going to see how long I take. Um, because typically, I do take 10 to 15 minutes, like I said. But, obviously, I'm not exactly... Um, doing other things at the same time, so yeah. Um, so as you can see, I'm setting it, and where I go? And this is just staying on the floor for me. So first things first, I already have my cleanser on. Sorry, I'm gonna bend down because I have my window sill and my makeup all set up here. Um, it's the who focus, please. Thank you. It's the clean and clear one, and it's for acne. And it's got salicylic acid, and I've been using it for a few months, and I absolutely adore it. So yes, and some days I will use. Um, an SPF because some days I don't feel like I want to put too much on my face because I have oily skin anyway and the one I've been loving so far recently actually I should say is this one by Sultan even um, I'm so bad at focusing I'm sorry guys I'm still learning but it's got SPF 30 yes 30 in it and I'm really liking it it's not making my skin feel heavy or anything so yeah um, so first other than that is lip balm and I like to use the Carmex one and this one tube is kind of running low but I have a backup already so yeah um, gotta keep the lips all hydrated and ready um, there we go and so next is primer so if you're at school or just having a long work day or like because school typically six seven hours Uni can vary, I guess. College for me was varied on different days, but most days was five to six hours. Primer is a definite, so I am using ho oh, oh, the Rimmel Stay Matte because it is my favourite. And yes, so I'm gonna take a bit on my fingers like this. Not too much because um well, let's just say I'm not exactly going to be going out after this makeup. I'm kind of just home and it's going to be going off as soon as I take pictures. So yes, and I just dab it on the centre of my face and then around my nose and my forehead. Um, I just rub it out. Now, on to foundation. Um, typically, I've usually loved using my Revlon Colors Day for the last good few months but um, recently I splurged and went for a really good one that I've been wanting for a while and it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear and I'm so excited and I got it in the shade if you can even see this let's see if we can do this right come on guys we can do this we can totally do this right oh I don't know if you can see that okay it's called Henna I'll tell you the exact like numbers and stuff 4W3 
But um, I went into Boots and I got tested and I like this shade because she showed me two different shades. But I've been really loving this because it doesn't make me feel too heavy, it's not heavy on my face and it still gives me brilliant coverage from my acne because as you can tell I've been breaking out again and yeah it's not very pretty. So yes, um, I haven't bought a pump or anything to go with it but I've just been kind of tipping it onto my hand so that's kind of what I'm going to do. But kind of have to be careful you don't put too much on because I did that the first like two times I used it. I think I've used it like three times since I bought it probably because like I said I don't wear this kind of makeup every day because I'm just lazy as if kind of thing so yeah um then I take my about to call it a beauty blender my real techniques miracle sponge is that what's called miracle sponge and I'm gonna start putting it on my face so I just gonna dab it on and then onto my neck um usually you don't need to go that far down into your neck um usually you just go like kind of a little bit of your jawline there to kind of blend it in but it has got a decent amount of acne on my neck so I kind of go down to about around about there kind of thing because any more is a bit stupid I think um so yeah and then I just blend it in and if I need a bit more I might do like another layer sometimes but um, I'll see what I need to do Okay, I'm going to go for a tiny bit more because I feel like I need a teens a bit more or like coverage because I don't always use a concealer if I feel like the foundation gives me enough coverage because it's just extra product on the face and it unless it's really really needed like if I'm going to like a wedding or something like that and I'm going to take rice photography and stuff then I'll really put like the whole shebang kind of thing but otherwise I don't really bother too much because I just need my face to look kind of less acne like that's all really and then i'm just switching the side because i can get into the close of the eye there and then i need to focus on this little spot here i mean i know it's quite bumpy still and i'm not gonna be able to cover the bumpiness of it but I can at least do something for the redness of it and i have little baby hairs here as most people do but i'm just trying to blend it in a bit there and i have a spot there right in between my eyebrows and it's a big one it's been there for a few days now and I'm just like please just go away okay I'm just going to use the last bit of my foundation that's on my hand and just kind of make sure all the crevices are around like the corners and stuff it's all good especially around my nose actually I get really bad around my nose to be left on my hand. Let's grab the mirror and see how I like it. Okay, I'm quite pleased with that now and so that's how that looks. As you can see in photo in the video it looks quite flawless but in real life it isn't that flawless yet. So next is some concealer for the under eyes and I like to use the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age, the eraser one basically, the one that everyone seems to love so much. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm still really bad at this. But that's what it looks like and it's in the shade. I don't actually know. I think it's light because they didn't have the other colour which was... I don't remember, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah. But it works fine for me because it's like two shades lighter than my skin tone so it's not too bad so I'm just going to twist it a bit and kind of dab it on in like a triangle thing I know this looks excessive right now but once it's all blended out it actually looks good and it doesn't look like you're wearing too much makeup or anything like that so it's all good as long as you blend it you can't like ugh, words it cry words um, you can't like tell that you're wearing too much makeup or anything. So then I just highlight down the nose bridge up there a bit because you know why not while I'm here now doing it. Cupid's bow and a little bit here. Not too much. Well, okay, maybe that is a bit too much. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna put the lid back on that and put it in there. 
and then start blending. So I start on the eyes and I use the pointed tip of the sponge because it gets right in there and I just kind of tap it in like that. I sometimes will like smudge like that which isn't good because it kind of just moves the concealer but um, if I'm in a rush it kind of just happens sometimes and I kind of just have to deal with it. But most of the time I'll just like tap and like roll. I have to make sure it's quite blended because obviously I put quite a bit on so I have to make sure you can't tell like physical like white lines anywhere because it like I said it is a bit light for my skin but it works perfectly as an under eye highlight and stuff so I may have put too much on my nose because I don't like such a highlighted nose because it makes my nose look like longer and, and I know most, most people like it because it's a nice look but I feel like my nose is already long enough and stuff but I try and put a little bit on there just to kind of define it a bit kind of thing so yeah and that is it. So it doesn't look too bad actually. I'm quite pleased with that. Um, it's turned out better than I thought it would. Um, so if I do need more coverage, I'm going to show you what I do use. Because what I've been using lately. Um, what I used to use was the Collection Concealers, which I absolutely adore. But I'm having difficulty finding my shade, which is Dark and Deep. So I use one for highlight and one for the blemishes, but I can't remember which one's which. Um, but in my Super Drug and Boots, they don't, don't seem to either. They either don't sell the deep, darker shades. Or they have them, but they're like really like people have opened them and like they look disgusting and stuff, and I'd rather not buy them. So yeah, so I bought a new um, one and I splurged again. Been doing a bit of splurging lately, um, and it's all my mom's money, so I'm really thankful that she actually bought, uh, bought this stuff for me. Um, but I got the Mac Pro Longwear, as you can see, um, just a typical, you know. Let's see, top. I kept it in this box. I'm too scared I'm gonna break it. The glass bottle. And as you can see, it looks quite dark for my skin. But the lady that tested me, and she goes that because most of my acne isn't red, it's like dark spots. Because I mainly got scars on my face, so any new acne usually gets covered by my foundation, but like the old dark scarring ones don't. So this would help, um, like cover that. And once you put foundation on and stuff, or if you want to, if you want to put this underneath foundation, and it looks really good because then it blends in with the foundation. But even if you put the foundation underneath and this on top, it still looks good because it blends in then with the foundation, and you can't really tell you got it on. But it does look dark in the bottom and it scared me at first when I put it onto my hand and I was like, shit, this is dark as anything. But it worked out and I played around with it a bit. But um, today I don't think I need it, really. Mm. There's that spot there, but there's not much more I can do for it, really. I don't think so. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention what colour I am. NW40, um, that's what shade I am. And that's only because, I, like I said, it's to cover the darkness of the scarring that I've got. So, yeah. So, next is powder. So it's just lightly and I'm using the Mineral Magic kind of one. It's not the exact one that I had last time but um, it works just as well. And my upper lip. I, it's really strange. I don't sweat really like anywhere apart from my upper lip. And it's really strange so I have to kind of powder that area around my mouth and stuff. Okay. That's cool. And now my face feels itchy from the brush. Um, so I'm going to skip the brows for a second just to go on to contour and it depends on every day what I want to do but I will do contour or some kind of bronzing on most days. So I'm going to show you kind of my full contour routine but quicker a sense than like if I was going to a wedding because it's already up to 13 minutes long so yeah. Um, sleek, my regular you know face form contouring and blush palette in medium that you guys know that I love and I use all the time. So I take the darker shade and I take this flat brush that I got from eBay and I showed it in a video, my last video I think probably, maybe not, I don't know, my last two videos maybe, um, and I kind of just tap it onto the side and I use it as like a contour thing. As you can see that looks quite dark. Then I take the regular Real Techniques, what is it, the contour brush that I usually use and I've always used for a really long time as far as I can remember and oh it's suddenly got really bright, I'm really sorry, the sun just decided to appear from behind the clouds. And I mix in a bit of the bronzer kind of shade, oh the, that is hurting, but yeah and then I mix the two a bit together and then go over it kind of thing. 
and then I bring it up a bit up to about here-ish, temple-ish I know it looks quite dramatic right now but um, actually in person it doesn't look bad at all Hey now, can you split? Cause you know that you and then I take it into the jawline a little bit, not too much because I'm already pretty dark so I don't need too much like bronzing I guess Okay, and then what I do is take a big fluffy brush, and for me that's this e.l.f. one that I've got here in my hand. Um, I think it's their pal complexion brush. That's it, their complexion brush. And if you see it like that, and I just kind of, kind of try and blend it out a bit. So it looks a bit more kind of natural. And as you can see, that still looks really bad in the camera, but... In person here, it looks perfect for me, so I'm going to continue with the next step, which is, oh, not blush, it's, um, nah, 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 forget the name, highlighter. And my all-time favourite is the Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC in Soft and Gentle. So, um, I've got a new brush that I'm using for it now. Where is it? It's, here it is. Um, and it's from the new brush kit that I bought from eBay so and I just take it and it's fluffy and it's really nice and it's perfect. So I take it along here. Uh oh you buy your friend like chocolate. You said we go when nobody knows Definitely onto my cube as well. I kinda lather that up quite a bit. And then I put it under my Eyebrows. And because I had the foundation there, which I used to cover my natural kind of veiny black kind of eye look, it acts as a primer for me. So it's perfect. And lastly, for the face, before I move on to eyebrows, because my eyebrows are pretty basic, um, is blush. And I'm using my Revolution Ultra Blush Palette in Hot Spice, it's this one. and I think you guys already know this from previous videos, but a lake. If I can show you. Ooh, let's find it. This colour. This colour. And this colour. So yeah. Um, and I mix them together kind of thing. Oh, and I also sometimes mix this colour into it, which I'm doing now. This bright one here. And it gives like the perfect crawly kind of moabi look. No, we never got a greedy, no, we never got a greedy now. Now run, run away from the boys in the blue Oh my god, smells like chocolate Okay, I'm happy with that and That was the last on my face, so now I'm going to onto my brows because I don't do much, I literally just powder them So I'm using my brow kit from Sleek in Dark and I'm just going to do that Um. I mean, you've kind of already seen a brow routine from me, but I don't exactly do that anymore. I don't use the wax in the kit anymore. I just use powder because I prefer the natural look now. More softer kind of look. So I'm just going to do that. And I naturally have quite boxy brows, so I kind of just even that out. And I know people say they don't like the look of boxy brows, but that's the way my natural brows actually are, so... Chocolate. Hey now, think about what to do, think about what to say, think about how to... And that's my brows done. And then the last thing to finish off my makeup look is I blot off the extra lip balm that's left. And I use a lip liner and I remember I told you guys that my Avon on finished and it was this mauve colour I really liked and they've like... Like, they don't sell it anymore, they discontinued it. But I found, like, a similar shade in Primox um, makeup range. And it's number... I actually don't know what number it is, and I'm really sad, but, um... I can't figure out, like, one... Oh, 09. Okay, it's number 09. But it's, like, a really nice mauve colour, so I'm just going to bring the makeup mirror closer because I'm rubbish at lip liner. So I just line my lips first. Hey, think about how do you think? Pause it, play, pause it, play, pause. My cupid's bow is kind of weird, like, it's kind of shaped weird, so I kind of have to, like, even it out. And I think that's that for the lip liner. And then, just because I like this lipstick a lot, and I just dropped my sponge, I use 
the Rimmel London Kate Moss lipsticks and it's in number 19 and so yeah and it's like my perfect nude for my skin tone and I'm obsessed with that it's nearly done but I'm scared that I won't be able to find it because I found it in my chemist my local pharmacy which is across the road from my house and they don't sell the Rimmel London makeup anymore there and I don't think I'm going to be able to find it anywhere and I'm really sad so yeah, if anyone else knows where I can actually get this, like if Superdrug oh, boots actually sell this specific shade, or if anyone's seen it, please tell me because I need it and I'm running low. So yeah. So I just apply this. Has it a week ago, nobody knows. Can't see that I bet Nothing too much. And then I just blot. And that is it. I am actually done. I don't do any eye makeup. And I've stopped my stopwatch to tell you how much time it took. That took 23 minutes and 57 seconds. Um, it was a little bit longer than I said it was, but like I said, I was talking and multitasking and I don't usually do that on a daily basis. So if you cut off five minutes from that, after talking that I may have done, then yeah. But, um, yeah, this is my completed look. And like I just said, I don't actually wear eye makeup because I have irritated eyes and I can't deal with having watery red irritated eyes on a daily basis. So the only times I do wear eye makeup is on like events, like weddings and stuff. So if you see my latest like, I don't know, Instagram pictures, and the only time I will put up makeup pictures on Instagram is when I do like the dramatic smokiness that I love, but I can't do anymore. Um, I will sometimes try to do like, uh, let's look at my drawer here, like some items from the Naked Basics palette and do like a little bit light stuff, but um, it doesn't always work. It just depends on my eyes usually, so um, I've left that out of my everyday routine and I'll just add it sometimes. So yeah, that's why I do highlight on the brows. Um, this is it. And it's as simple as that. I know it took a bit longer than I said, like a, I can't speak today and I'm so angry. It took longer than I said, but we'll cut out that five minutes of talking and it's all good. So yeah. um, I hope you guys enjoy this. And yeah, uh, keep requests coming through because I have more videos. Um, oh, just a little announcement. Well, not really an announcement. Um, these, like, next few weeks, I'm gonna have loads of videos coming out because I have my MacBook now and I have everything ready and I can do everything. Everything's set up because I had issues with my iCloud drive and it was so simple, yet I was idiotic and couldn't figure it out. But I figured it out eventually, so I can do all that now. And yeah, I'm gonna have loads of videos now, but. I start uni probably end of September, like 21st is my enrolment, so I say 7th. So after that I don't know what, I think I'm gonna go back to my weekend schedule, so it'll be like I'll film on like a Friday slash Saturday, and edit on a Saturday slash Sunday, and upload definitely on Sunday. So I'm sorry guys, but for now I'm trying to get as many videos out as possible since like I'm free. Okay, well I'm not free, I have reading to do. Like, okay I'm gonna pick them up, they're right next to me. I have these two books to read before I start and I've only made it through like one chapter of this one yet so I need to do that so I'm gonna go ahead and do some reading now but um, I hope you guys enjoy this book and yes yeah, I'll talk to you guys real soon toodles I can't cover the camera properly okay official toodles bye